Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Many of us know Chris Canty as an NFL champion football player, but Chris is spectacular both on and off the field. The Chris Canty Foundation, which Chris is founder and actively supports, works to enrich children's lives through mentoring, education, health, and fitness. And here to share more, Chris Canty. Chris, welcome to the show. Thanks for having Very me, Very exciting to have yeah. you here. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you here to Hilton Head. Well, I'm originally from the Bronx, New York, but my parents are from South Carolina. My mom is from a small town called Utahville, right outside of Santee. And my dad is from uh, further upstate in Sumter, South Carolina. And so as a kid, we'd come down to Hilton Head and we'd vacation and spend time. And I said, you know, it'd be awesome one day if I could own a place down here. And one day became 2012, where I had the opportunity to purchase a home down here. And um, the rest is history. So I've been enjoying the island for several years now and uh, look forward to many more years to come. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about the mission and purpose of the Chris Canty Foundation. Well, the purpose of the Chris Canty Foundation is to work on a total development of youth. And what that means is uh, to give kids the opportunity um, that they might not otherwise had and to equip them with the skills and, and the education to take advantage of, of those opportunities. Now our approach is to work with like-minded organizations through three different avenues which are academic enrichment and education, uh, physical fitness, and then the thing that I believe that separates the Chris Canyon Foundation from a lot of other organizations is service. We encourage the kids that get involved in our programs to be involved in the community service. We try to create a symbiotic relationship between a child and between that particular community so everybody works together to make it a better community. Yeah, wonderful. And so uh, you are, I think, planning on expanding the reach work of your foundation to Hilton Head Island in the Low Country area. How do you plan on doing that? Well, I plan on doing that by partnering <laughs> with like-minded organizations that are already on the ground, organizations that are focused on really making a difference in kids' lives and ultimately making a difference in the community long term. And right. so um, having the opportunity to work with the FCA down here has really been great so far. Uh, being able to work with the kids at Hilton Head High School, being able to work with the kids at Bluffton High School, uh, it's really been a tremendous privilege. Uh, even though it's and, and for them as well, I'm a, certain. A, absolutely, for them <laughs> as well. Um, it's been an awesome opportunity. I get a little sore from the workouts I with bet. the football team. They're running teams. you, aren't they? Yeah, they're running me, <laughs> uh, trying to keep up with kids that are half my age. But, um, you know, it's been an awesome opportunity um, uh, to be able to engage them uh, really in an organic way. Um, and make it a real experience and something that they can benefit from, something that they can learn from. Yeah, that's terrific. So tell us about how you're, you're starting to get involved in meeting some of the folks and youth in the community around here. Well, through the FCA, is, okay. uh, you know, I've, I've had an opportunity um, through Paul and Lisa uh, to be able to engage uh, some of the local resources here and being able to engage some of the kids here. Um, and it's really just been an awesome opportunity. Um, be able to, to touch them and them being able to ask me questions, them being able to pick my brain about certain things. Right. Um, it really creates a positive relationship and I can use the platform of sports to kind of teach them some of the life lessons that they might not otherwise have or some of the things that they've heard but I can reinforce. Certainly. And so um, I understand you made your first trip to the Heritage last April. <laughs> what did you think about Hilton Head Island's premier event? It was cold. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold. Uh, you know, that was the one thing. You know, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I'm thinking, man, I'm going down to the island. It's April. It's going to be nice. And I was like, it's a little chilly this time <laughs> for this time of year down here. But uh, it's an awesome event. It um, is. You know, every year you hear good things about it and you just have opportunity, have the privilege to see it firsthand and to be a part of it. It's yeah, really some special. Some wonderful players, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So, um, and you also do some work with uh, NBC Sports. So do you see a future career in broadcasting <laughs> after the NFL? Yeah, well, you know, I've uh, just renewed my contract with NBC Sports uh, a few weeks ago and, um, you know, continue to do work with them on their um, pro football talk platform as well as um, some of their digital platforms and their radio stuff. So um, it's just really been an awesome relationship that I've been able to have with them. Um, hopefully I can see that continuing past my playing career. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about being able to stay around the National Football League. I, I love what I do. You know, I tell people all the time I love what I do. I play professional football talk about professional football and I have the opportunity to work with kids. Yeah, I think it's wonderful and yeah. we will have all the information about the Chris Canty um, Foundation on the screen so people can 
um, learn a bit, little bit more about you and what you actually do with these kids. It's wonderful. That would be great. And here's the thing. I always tell people, you know, to have the opportunity to get involved. We all have something to give, whether it's your time, whether it's your resources, a particular talent. It doesn't have to be the Chris Candy Foundation, but do take the opportunity to give back. Yes. Thank you so much, Chris, thank for joining you, us today. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.